All right, video number three. So the easiest thing to get really good at playing your bar chords, and really the only five you need to use, there are more, but these are like your basic five. So I'm gonna do on, on A. So this is my E string bass, like I'm playing the E string, So, but I'm playing an A chord. You know, let's just make a G, just to, there's no confusion. All right, so here's your major. Take the middle finger off, minor, which I think you already know. And then when you're minor, if you take the pinky off as well, you have a minor seven. So it's three of the five right there. So major, minor, minor seven. And then if you're back on major, let the pinky go. That's a dominant seven. And the only one that's weird is the major seven. So I do major again. These three fingers, so everything about my first finger are all gonna go down a string. Boom, boom, boom. Now, these three fingers are gonna go back a fret. So I'm gonna stop barring and only hold this top note. And this weird shape is a major seven. So those are your five shapes you need to know. Major, minor, minor seven. Back to major, take the pinky off. Dominant seven. Back to major, this is the hardest one. These three fingers go down and over. So down and over. Okay, now we need to learn those with the A string bass. So I'm gonna go, so this is, uh, you've probably seen this, your major on your A string, your minor, which is the same shape as major on the E string. I know that seems confusing, but it's just the way the guitar is set up. So on the A string, when I do this shape, it's minor. Take the pinky away, it's minor seven. So now you have three on the A string, major, minor, minor seven. And then here's the crazy part. So back to major, you can't break this finger into sections and move it around. So what I have to do to do the major seven is on my, what string is this? On my G string, I need to go one fret back, but this finger doesn't move that way. So this finger is gonna go right here. Middle is gonna go on the, what is that? The fourth fret of the G, pinky on the fifth fret of the B. So, so all I did was I moved this note right here to this note right here. But in order to do that, I had to use my other fingers. And the cool thing is to make a dominant seven, I take this note and go one more down. So I'm barring here. So major, major seven, dominant seven. And all I'm doing is, and then I'm going within this chord. minor, minor seven. All right, those are the five you need to know. Super important, be able to switch between those. Here's a great example of one that I use. Uh, George Michael, uh, I can't even think of the name of the song. Then. So I'll call these out as I do them. So it's minor, D minor seven, to a G minor seven, a sharp major seven to an A seven. You can't even sing that high right now. You get the idea. Be able to switch with those seventh chords, the, the bar shaped seventh chords. If you can do those five on the A string and those five on the E string, you are super ahead of the game and can pretty much play most songs. All right, last one.